The best version of you comes from silence. You don't necessarily need a vacation or new acquaintances for a change of perspective. How about making the most of your self-imposed solitude and, at the same time, give your life a new direction? Spending time alone has many advantages, but few people intuitively know that there can be a connection between rest and self-optimization. In today's video, we would like to introduce you to seven interesting effects that your me time has on you and your environment. Number one, your creativity will surprise you. There's a reason why the best ideas always come to us in the most unusual and mundane places. Why is that? Because we're always alone in the shower, at the toilet, and while vacuuming, at least most of us are. With no outside distractions, our mind can take a quiet breath for once and challenge themselves a little. The potential that lies dormant deep within us is awakened. Even people who don't pursue creative hobbies will be amazed at the good ideas that suddenly pass through their cerebral convolutions when they spend a few hours in complete seclusion without other people. Some talent for creative processes is in each and every one of us. Perhaps we have just neglected or relegated it to oblivion over the years with the increasing multiple burdens of our lives. Creativity requires not only rest, but also time to unfold. If you have the opportunity to do so, live out your creative side. It will give you a great sense of achievement, but also a whole new kind of deep relaxation and recreation. Creating something new under your own steam can be extremely satisfying and provide plenty of feelings of happiness. Number two, peace of mind and inner peace return. There's a reason why power rests in silence. Silence can be oppressive and overwhelming for some people, but once you have come to terms with it, you will soon silence the demons that like to use this vacuum to resurrect themselves. Thoughts eventually come to rest, at least the useless ones that are always regurgitating our negative beliefs like a broken record. There is hardly any form of relaxation and recuperation that works as quickly and reliably as absolute silence and the temporary withdrawal from the world outside our door. For our body, but also for our soul, it feels as if all systems are suddenly shut down and only holistic recreation is on the agenda. Depending on the type of person and the state of the day, 15 minutes in complete seclusion can already do great things for our restoration. Of course, the longer we are allowed to enjoy this luxury, the better. Number three, you can tolerate other people more easily again. It's all about the dosage in the case of social contact too. Too many social appointments in a row can really wear on our nerves. We can't process all the conversations and impressions at the speed that our schedule occasionally demands of us. Interestingly, we not only benefit from social breaks ourselves, but those around us also profit from them. If we get the opportunity to withdraw from humanity to focus on our own thoughts, this makes us fit again and ready for new contacts. Phases of voluntary isolation and deliberately induced loneliness are therefore not selfish acts but strictly speaking, a labor of love for humanity. Number four, your health benefits. Much like sleep reboots our bodies every night, silence and disconnecting from others does very similar things to our bodies. Moments of quiet are like a short vacation for our mental and physical well-being. Those who can, let regularity and the power of constant repetition work in their favor here as well. Being able to squeeze in a few quiet moments every few weeks is certainly not nearly enough to get your soul and body back on track. In addition to long walks or yoga sessions, meditation and relaxation exercises are particularly effective. This kills several birds with one stone. If you only have a little time to spare, sit by the window with a nice cup of tea 
and stare into the distance for as long as possible. Number five, energy reserves are refueled. Practically every second, our minds and bodies use periods of rest to replenish their depleted batteries. If you have to listen to other people all the time, you will eventually be completely exhausted by this passive, but nevertheless exhausting way of being together. Our brain can't help but listen to all the ambient noise, even if it's not meant for us. When we are forced to spend most of the day surrounded by people, machines, or traffic noise, we automatically get tired without having done anything particularly challenging. Number six, problems solve themselves. A brilliant bonus of me time with just us is that it strengthens our problem-solving skills. In silence, the best ideas often come to us as if out of nowhere. Many problems and issues are solved as if by themselves. If you want to play it safe, take a long solitary walk through the forest or along a river. The meditative effect of trees and water stimulates our little gray cells to peak performance. An empty head is then ready to perform again and fit for whatever new adventures everyday life has in store for us. Number seven, you can expand your intellectual horizons. It's no coincidence that, according to studies, intelligent people spend an above average amount of time alone. Quality time away from the matting crowd, in fact, leads us to constantly expand our intellect. Not only do we then devote ourselves to those interests and passions that we already nurture, we also have the opportunity to learn about new things all the time. Reading books and professional journals, attentively following documentaries and reports, as well as the taster courses that even the internet has in store for seekers, provide us with endless opportunities. An alert mind and the joy of learning are also the best prerequisites for maintaining mental fitness for the long term, even in old age. Lifelong learning should not remain an empty phrase. However, we need ample opportunity for this without distractions and without disturbing impulses from outside. Our conclusion, silence as a source of strength and inspiration. Once you have discovered silence for yourself, you will not be able to escape its charm so quickly. The magic of being completely at one with ourselves cannot fail to have an effect. Nowhere else do we have so many opportunities to work on ourselves, make plans for the future, and become a better person for others. We're more productive when we're alone, setting creative processes in motion while doing what's best for our mental and physical health. However, a quote attributed to actor Jim Carrey also sums up the danger that lurks in pleasurable self-isolation. Being alone is dangerous. It's addictive. Once you realize how peaceful it is, you don't want to bother with other people. Thanks for watching. Did you find this information helpful? Do you have experience with it? We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. For more resources about mental health, self-improvement, and psychology, visit our website. You'll find the link in the video description where you can also connect with us on social media and sign up for our email list. Take care of yourself and have a beautiful day.